So it's like a, it's like a, it's like a, spot maybe no yeah I did S the same spot and you know what this Loctite uh, once broken and then broken again I mean once you fix fix the plastic by Loctite and it broke and it breaks once again then it's really hard to fix it again so what I what I'm trying to say is you can only use Loctite once in the same spot well I don't think it's an absolute but I think it's usually like that That's my experience. But anyway, I need to. This is my iPhone 6. I'm gonna watch my chat through it. And watch the chat through it. Through in, through in! There it goes.
핀또가 상해 브루스 It's dangerous. It's dangerous to drop it on. It's 24. Good. Ah. Ah.
Eleven. マルチタ。ウィチャオ。シワシワ。Yeah. Ah, you're setting, setting up is not a problem. I mean, not a big problem, but letting, putting the dumbbells down safely, that's what I call problem. From here to Okay. Or from here to like that. Uh, let's try the second method this time. Okay, the time is sixteen twenty nine. Sixteen thirty then. Every game. Nine reps will be good enough. Eight reps is also good enough. Seven will be a little bit disappointing. But I will not sacrifice sacrifice my technique for a record. I mean for the reps. Even if it's most less than seven, it's fine. What count what counts. It's the health that counts. Okay, setting up is no problem. You just you just
やだあああああああおあああああああああああああああイシーソンインバランス。Feels okay on my upper chest. We'll try another set. So that was nine. Sixteen thirty three, thirty four. Let me drink some water in between. Bare feet this time. Kleine Bandschubwachs. My elbows are fine. 
I'm a little worried. A bit worried about my back. But it doesn't. But I don't, I don't feel any severe symptoms. Really. Yeah. I think it's a fatigue on my lower back, lumbar spine. Or maybe it's just shocked. So that was eight, right? Mother? Seven. I didn't do eight. I thought it was six. Seven. I think I can. I could have done two more. Yeah. So next, thirty-nine then. I think I'm resting too much between sets, so I will keep my mind on it. Not to waste, not to rest too much between sets. It's, it's like what I said, just like what I said in the last stream. You don't want to rest too short, you don't want to rest too long. So, in between is the key. Young. 정답은 언제나 양극단 사이. The answer lies always in between two extremes, all right? Ah, oh. eleven, eh? Oh. Eleven and one. Okay. 
Okay. From here now on, we'll speed up a little bit. Forty-two. Here we go. Okay. Right here, enjoying another session, man. You're a beast. Thank you, Trinity. 80, 82. Yes, it's a year you was you were born, right? Probably 1982. Well, thank you. It was. Six, I guess. I kind of forgot during. I kind of forgot while I was talking. Let me re. Let me watch. Okay, six. Six. Six and one. Okay. Next, we'll be at sixteen forty-five. Let's prepare the last set. Or maybe I can do one more set. Yeah. Ah. Haha, ah. ah, yes, it's my birth year. Ah. That's what I thought. 
Anyway, thanks for thanks for coming. Thanks for stopping by. I'm doing great. Thank you. I'm feeling the need to figure out how to put down the dumbbells safely. It's not very not easy. It was five reps, right? I forgot again. Forgot again. Okay, let me move on to the push-up, which is another great exercise. I'm going to perform it here. the keyboard. That's five. Forty-eight. Forty-nine then. Yes, I'm taking some time between sets today. I should be mindful of that. You don't want to rest too much between sets. Eat. There you go. <clears throat> yeah, I have a problem too with putting the dumbbell without dropping. I can't go to failure like you. Have. I need to reserve some of my strength. I wish I could do it like you. Yeah, it's... I have a problem too with... I mean, yeah, I am... I think that if I accidentally drop the dumbbell on the floor, since this is just a floor, it's gonna break the floor. So I need to be careful. And if you haven't, uh, if you didn't know, there's a product called a Dumbbell Spot Spotter. I guess that's the name of the product. And it, it's a belt that you can hang the belt, uh, hang the dumbbells onto a bar. So if you have a pull-up bar like that, you can hang it hang the dumbbells there so you you can just you can just release the dumbbell without having to worry about the floor you know so i'm thinking about that thinking about uh thinking about using that method for my inclined dumbbell press 
because it's such a good exercise, you know. Fifty one. Here it goes. So in that case, I I might I I will have to move this incline bench over there under the pull up bar and then do do the press. I think it's gonna be great. Because I can safely reach my limit. And that's that's what that's what you you know that's very important. Being safe is very important. No kidding. Because you're not gonna just work out once in your life. You're gonna work out, you wanna work out for the rest of your life, you know? So it's gonna be hundreds and thousand times. So you wanna be safe. You don't wanna be, you don't wanna risk too much of your health. Let's go. So fail safely. I think that's. I think that's not just for workouts, but for everything, almost everything in life. You wanna fail safely. You want to fail because how can you grow? There's no other way around. You have to experience the fail, but you don't want to kill yourself because that's just the end of life. So you want to fail, but you want to fail safely. You want to push yourself to the limit so you can grow, but you don't want to injure yourself irreversibly. So that's, that's the balance you have to find out. Oh, okay, 56 then. 56, okay. Last set, we we'll push up. Ooh, here we go. Here we go.
seven. Who is it? Right. I can see a new comment by Fu. Wanna ask what are the differences between doing push-ups with the chest touching the floor and not touching the floor? I mean if you use a push-up bar, your chest cannot touch the floor. So you always want to touch the floor with your chest if you don't have a push-up bar. But once you just have these, and by the way, these are very cheap, or you can just use some books to stack up to use the full range of motion, full ROM. ROM stands for range of motion. So I would usually, generally, I mean, almost all the time, I, I would recommend using the full range of motion if you don't feel pa any pain. And pain, by pain, I mean muscle pain, muscle soreness, muscle fatigue. Not other kind of pain, like some nerve irritation, sensation, tendon pain, nerve pain, joint pain. That's not good. Good pain is a muscle pain. So if you don't experience any other pain, Except muscle pain, use the full range of motion, which means try to try to touch the floor with your chest. But a better option is you don't have to touch the floor, but use this push-up bar. You can buy it. A few few bucks, I guess. I mean, a few bucks is too cheap. But anyway, it's very cheap. It's not very expensive. I hope. It helped. If you are still listening, please do understand that my replies can be very uh, late. Yeah. But, all right, now I'm going to do a skull crusher. It's a 16 kilogram. You want to stretch your chest all the way to here, right? So that the chest touches the floor, right? But if you're using a push-up bar, your chest doesn't touch the floor. Magic! Yeah. So if whether or not your chest touching the floor or not, it doesn't matter if you're using the full range of motion. So that's a... It's not a accurate, accurate cue, so to speak. You don't want to focus on that. We can go deeper. We can go deeper than that. Thank you for answering my question, Longro. Thank you for saying thank you, because uh, I think it's I think a lot of people would agree that nowadays people don't say thank you on the internet a lot because that's you can just disappear. You know, it's not reality. It's not real life. It's different. You can just disappear. You can just ask question, and if someone gives you an answer, one can just disappear without any gratitude. And I think that can disappoint. The one who answered and can tip the world to a little unkindness. So I appreciate you appreciating my answers. Have a great day. So this is 1701. Which, uh, here we go. Uh.
Ah, ah, good, good, good. That was good. You too, Omru. Have a good day. Yeah, thank you for stopping by. And I hope you have a great day or night. It depends on where you are. Crash. Hello. Thank you for stopping by. Whew. So that was seven? I forgot the rep count. I forgot the count. Yes, it was seven. Hopefully. Crash, you can do 48 kilogram dumbbell press with 11 rep, yes, yes, well it's not something, you know, that's extreme, but I am doing my best, so I'm happy with it, so and that was 8, right, I mean, I forgot again, <laughs> I forgot again my rep count, by the way, you can, you can just go back and check if my, if what I'm saying is true or not, I try to be transparent as possible, transparent and honest. And I ate. Okay, eight, eight. That's definitely an eight. And it was a good technique from my point of view. So let's do another set of the skull crushers. Be careful not to crush your skull, of course, unless you drop the dumbbell. Then I'll be fine. There you go. <clears throat> That's 11. Write it down before you forget. <sighs> right. Ooh. So, one of my motto, one of the things that I would like to keep. 
one of the promises I would like to keep is I never delete my videos. So you can check back my videos anytime you like. Never seen this dumbbell before. This is from a. Now I think it's okay to say now, since the company which made these dumbbells are now gone. It seems uh, these are very similar to Iron Master, that came after that, and it's an adjustable dumbbell that you can put weights on it. Uh, a good one. I like it. These are called a F Monsters Quick Block. It's sold out now. And the company seems like they're gone now. They're gone. Their homepage is closed. I don't know what happened. But anyway, uh, of course, by Korea I mean South Korea. North Korea is a hellish country. Ah, I'm grateful that I'm born in South Korea. Six. Six. Okay, it was six. Six. Ah. Okay, six reps. My triceps. By the way, if you're new to my channel, Just like what I said, I never delete my videos, and you see this chart, this, this table here, that says 12,400, so it's an Excel data that I keep, and it is shared publicly for everyone, you can check everything literally i mean maybe some some of those are missing or but nine more than 99 percent of what i do work out what i work out you can check online anytime forever for free so i try to be so that kind of proves uh, what I mean by I try to be honest and transparent. I know there are stronger guys out there than me, bigger guys than me. But I try not to be ashamed of myself. Because I'm trying my best. Okay, okay now on to the side lateral raise. You want to tilt your body a little bit, then, okay, 17, 12. So I write down the time, and move on. Stuck. Gosh.
아, 뭔데? 덤벨 was stuck. I mean, the dumbbell pen was stuck, so I might I have to change the time again. Sometimes it's so frustrating to change the time minute by minute. Now we're here. Here we go. Okay, lean forward a little bit. And if my record is wrong, sometimes it can I can make mistakes. Please do tell me that I'm wrong. Because I don't want to write I don't want to be right all the time. If you're right all the time, that means you're not learning anything. So let's see it from, be from behind now. There we go. Okay, 17, 15. You don't want to rest too much since it's an isolation workout. Let's go right away. That's here. This is a hex wrench. I use it when my dumbbells are stuck, dumbbell pins are stuck. So I stick it in here and just rotate. Then it's stronger than rotating like this. That's how genius I am, I'm sorry. But I train. Okay. Lego. Lego means let's go. I never heard someone using the phrase, but I guess it makes sense, right? No? Okay. Change the height of the camera so we can get a better view of the workout.
Oh, oh, my shoulders. Okay, now let me take a thumbnail picture and then end the stream. Seven. And it was 17, 18, I remember it correctly. Let me write down the time on the diary. 1718. Okay. I'm gonna do a Y raise next time. Okay now. Now let's take a thumbnail picture the stream and do a little post workout thingy. Okay, add a dice 53, yada yada, right? There you go. Hard to stand on the middle. All right, that should do the thumbnail for today. Oh. Like you see, I always take the thumbnail picture during the stream and use it as is so that there's no Photoshop editing whatsoever. All right, I took the thumbnail picture. Okay. Now I'm just going to tidy up and add the stream. Can you do Icarus pose by Fu? I, I don't know what that pose is. I, maybe I should look it up. Icarus. Something like a winged I guess. 
イカルスイカルスポーズああ I will I will practice it I think it'll make a great great、uh, I think it'll make an, a beautiful thumbnail it shows a great it shows a lot of Lats, bicep and arm development, and at the same time, it shows a lot of legs too. Well, thanks for the suggestion. I will, I will try it. I will definitely try it, give it a try someday. Not very used to the pose. Maybe more upright.、Hmm. Thanks for the suggestion. Got a cramp. I told you it needs, it needs practice. Thank you too, Omro, for trying my request. I will try it again and again in the future. I think it's a great pose and cool name. I think it's a、uh, beautiful pose with a cool name. Yeah, that's how I, would, how I would sum it up. And we'll try regularly on my stream in the future. Thank you again for your idea. We're okay, let's go. Thank you for stopping by. But now we're all almost all done. I always recommend hanging after workout. Getting hot. The weather is getting hot. It's almost summer now. Thank you, everyone. If anybody is still watching, I guess somebody is still watching. Thank you. I really appreciate. And I hope you have a great day or night. Depends on where you are right now. This is 1727. There, there's, there's, there's clock here. In this time zone, it's 1727 in, in here. Uh, now I'm gonna count down 10 and the stream. Thanks for all the comments. And I hope to see you again right soon. The keyboard is not working. The keyboard is not working. So I turn it off again. Okay, now it's working. Alright. Here we go. I'm gonna count down 10 and the stream. What time is it? Time is it? 
It's 17.28. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Thank you.